This is 93 Prospect Place in Brooklyn. Um, this is the one with, one with Django, and basically everything here from this bottom floor all the way to the very top is ours. So for 4500 a month, plus whatever his fee is, we get all of this. You walk in and it's a really big open living room with chandeliers, a fireplace that appears to be working, but you know, we would never use it anyway. And the guy was kind of hesitant to say whether or not you could actually put wood in there. This is a very long room though. Um, it looks more narrow in the video than it actually is. The fireplace does take up a little bit, but even at its narrowest point, I'd say it's still probably 12 feet. So probably 14 feet wide total. Um, kitchen's probably the worst part of it. It's not super big, it's not super small. You can definitely put two people in here. Um, the cabinets are actually, I know they're, they're kind of flimsy-ish, but they look nice. <laughs> I know what your thoughts are on that. Um, do have a little blower thing for on top of the stove. The stove's gas range, not super nice for anything. Uh, it does have a dishwasher, which is cool. Um, window units for AC. These are manual, you have to turn them on and use them. Um, there is thermostat control for the for different zones in the house. And let's go downstairs first. So downstairs, um, I believe this goes out, that's the garden entrance there. You walk down, there's the stairs, there's a little hallway that goes back there. Here's a bedroom with a window unit and um, heating you know, along the bottom. Decent sized bedroom, actually. Uh, this is bigger than any of the other ones we saw today, except for that huge master one. I'd say it's probably 12 by 12, maybe 13 by 12. Uh, walk down the hallway here, another thermostat unit. Um, lots of closet space along here. You can't really see it. I don't know where the light is. It looks like it's just hanging down. But this entire length here, there we go, is all closet. All just sliding closet doors on the left goes all the way all the way through, um, and then another bedroom slash whatever office back here about the same size as the first has some exposed brick. Back here is a uh, private space for us. It's currently being used by construction people because they're doing you know renovations or whatever on the building that will be completely clear and private for us. Uh, air horn, air horn, uh, washer dryer on the way back to the bathroom back here. It's a full bath and a random microwave, just you know, for good measure. Uh, bath isn't super nice, but or super big, but gets the job done. Shower, bath, overhead lighting, and a single sink. Turn off these lights and we'll head upstairs. head up the stairs and again window AC unit that's built in you know plug in use on your own until whenever uh, full bath up here again not the biggest but decently nice or not decently nice you know, average I'd say um, it's decent enough size only a single sink oh well overhead lights um, the first room here is another bedroom. This is probably ever so slightly larger than the one downstairs. Not too much though, but it's still like, you know, 15, 16 long by like 12. It's pretty big. And lots of closet space back there. And some storage space up top as well. Closet is deep enough for a dresser and it goes the entire length of the room, the entire width rather. And we'll walk back around. And yet another room. This could be a projector room here. Um, let me close the door and get all the way back in the corner. You can see that that goes there. There's a little notch inlet thing, heating in each one. You can see out to the street. This is Prospect Place here. And then right, right over there is Flatbush. Can't really see it too well. Windows, look, yeah, they're double paned and uh, look like they'd insulate reasonably well. All the windows are open so you can hear outside noises. Again, AC unit up there and this is this would be projectorable, um, you know, got the windows here. That's the only thing we have to, to uh, concern about. And we could, you know, definitely put AV equipment and stuff back here, take off this door. This closet's kind of funky. It's got a little slope, whatever in it. Really one of the closets that is kind of strange, but plenty of height. 
still room to store stuff. And then I guess that's room up to the attic or something that they didn't really talk to me about. I'm not sure we ever have to go up there or even if it's our space. No, but that's it. This is a uh, 93 Prospect Place. I like it, this is great. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for now.